TNT here. Okay, we got the RM125 out here at my little test spot. I'm gonna fire up and take it out for its first little ride. Hopefully everything's good, and this Friday I'll be able to take it out to the track. I wanted to go today, but the track's only open Friday to Monday. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Pretty high. I've got my throttle cable turned all the way down. Can't get it down any lower. Might have to adjust my needle height. I definitely think I got some carb reed issues. I have to pull the carburetor off and try and figure out where my air problem is. Okay, so we're back from the first ride on the 87RM125. Unfortunately, I ran into a few issues while I was out there. Um, after the bike warmed up a little bit, I found that I had some major carburetor issues. So when I got it home, I totally dismantled the carb and found that the pilot jet was completely blocked off. I've cleared that up now. I've had the bike running and it idles now. Uh, we'll just have to find out when we take it out for a test ride if it's responding properly But I'm pretty sure that that was about all that was wrong with it all that I could find inside anyway The other problem was the clutch started to slip after about two minutes and it slipped so bad that the bike You know it really wouldn't move So here's what I found with the clutch 
when I took it apart, I don't know if you can see that, but this side, there's nothing left of it. The friction plate is, it's totally gone on this side. And they get worse as we go down. Okay, so some of the steel plates are actually not that bad, but here's one of the friction plates. I was pretty shocked to see this. I don't think I've ever seen anything this bad. I'm surprised that it got this bad with the previous owner, but this friction plate has nothing left on it. It is all the way down to the steel. Okay. And then the steel plates, some of them are actually not too bad. This friction plate, not great. Well, it's got a little bit of life left to it. And then, you know, something I didn't notice when I was working on the shifter earlier before I put the bike back together was it had a bit of rust in there. So here's another friction plate where there's just really nothing left of it on both sides. Another rusty steel plate. That friction plate's actually not that bad. Another rusty steel plate. And that friction plate's not too bad. And they're not like new, but they would have been usable had we didn't have these two friction plates here that were completely gone. There's no material left on either side. Okay, so inside the motor itself, everything looks good. Basket's fine. There's no deep grooves in it. So I've ordered a new clutch kit when it comes in. Put it back in the bike and we'll take it out again. Take it out to my little test site and hopefully everything works well because I really want to get it out to the track. Unfortunately, it's not going to be for a while. I'm going on holidays. Okay, so that's about it. There's an update as to where we're at with the RM125. It's just going to be a couple of weeks before I get that clutch in and get out and test ride it again. Alright, so thanks for watching.